Trivium students. Um, hopefully by now you have sort of adapted to um, our new uh, online um, style of teaching and learning. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through um, a series of words and, and roots that have uh, connections to the pandemic that we're all experiencing. Give you a chance to look up some of those roots and then uh, turn in an exercise, uh, turn in some some uh, activities. So, uh, as you very dramatic entrance there, I know, right? So uh, let's just walk through. So if um, when we think about the word epidemic and pandemic that we have been hearing so much about, um, notice that they have parts of that that are the same and parts of that that are different. And so we're going to walk through those a little bit together. So let's start with the demic part. Uh, so we have epidemic and we have pandemic, and they both have that D-E-M -E root. The emic, the I-C at the end is something else, but that D-E-M uh, actually is um, a, a Greek uh, Latin root for uh, people. D-E-M is the uh, Greek word for people, and so we have the word, for example, democracy. Um, ocracy has to do with the uh, rule, um, so uh, a monarchy. Um, so we have uh, words we're used to that sort of, and so a uh, democracy is to be ruled by the people. So in a democracy, people vote, people have representatives, and so it's the people uh, that do the governing. So that uh, DEM part of this epidemic and pandemic apparently has to do with people. All right, so that part we got. So what's the next part? So what are the parts um, that are different? Well, of course, we have the epi part, um, and epi means over or upon. So an epidemic is something that comes upon the people or something that is over the people. Uh, so when the disease begins to spread and it begins to overtake um, a people, then we call it an epidemic. Uh, of course, the next option would be a pandemic. And a pandemic is means all. Uh, so a pandemic essentially is when it spreads to the point that it affects all people. Now, it doesn't mean every single person, but it means people all over the world um, are experiencing the same disease. And so uh, those are the, the key parts of this uh, word that we keep getting kicked around um, uh, in the news, and I'm sure you've heard plenty of it. Um, a little... Well, I was going to say fun fact. It's not really fun. Uh, just for your information, a quarantine, you're hearing people were being asked to be self-quarantined, uh, were at, being asked to shelter in place. And that's an attempt to sort of keep the epidemic, the pandemic, from spreading um, by not interacting with other people so that you don't transfer the disease. Quarantine actually comes from the Italian that means uh, 40 uh, during the Middle Ages, when they had several uh, pandemics, epidemics, the Black Plague and other diseases, um, that they didn't know, they didn't have any idea about germs, they didn't know what was going on. Um, but they developed the habit of when a ship came into port and it would be examined and if, if sailors were found to be sick, they would force the ship to stay in anchor off the shore for a period of 40 days. And that 40 days, the 40 became known as the quarantine. So they were uh, asked to stay off um, from coming into port. As we've seen these cruise ships where people have gotten sick, and rather than just unloading everybody and running the potential of uh, further spreading the disease, they, they have been placed in quarantine on the ship uh, while they um, tested people before they decided to, it was safe to let them uh, come out into the general population. So there you go, a little odd odd fact. So uh, as you have watched this uh, PowerPoint, we sort of talked through um, some of the word uh, roots that you're going to be exploring. So uh, in, um, so uh, as you have watched this uh, PowerPoint, we sort of talked through um, some of the word uh, roots that you're going to be exploring. So uh, in, um, 
our Google Classroom, there is a document uh, for you to, uh, it, each of you has a copy of it, and you are going to then work through these words, and you're going to um, type into it that you're what you find. So what I've done here is for each of the roots that we've discussed, uh, for pan and epi, and then also uh, I talked about mit, so transmit, um, there is actually a podcast to listen to. There's a hyperlink there, so if you hyperlink to that, um, you can listen to the podcast that's going to talk about uh, transmission. It's uh, from, I think it's from uh, Membean. And um, so then what you're going to do for each of these eight uh, terms, you're going to um, look them up, write the definition, and then write an original sentence using that word correctly. And each word, uh, each sentence that you write has to include the word ascension in it. Um, and I give you an example there saying um, that uh, everyone at ascension must be vaccinated. And so uh, once you look up the definition, you write the definition, and then you write an original sentence, and your sentence must include the word ascension in it. Uh, and so then uh, the next thing is called listen and learn. Um, right there, there's a uh, connection to a podcast where it looks at the history of the word vaccine, which is kind of odd. Wait till you see it. Um, so I want you to listen to the um, podcast learn about the history of the word vaccine, not just how we learned how to vaccinate people, but the word itself has a really odd Latin uh, connection. The last part of this is uh, reflect and write. Uh, one of the words uh, that we learned, epi, um, has uh, to do with an, uh, epitaph, which is what people put on your tombstone. And uh, there are some really odd ones. You know, there's some funny ones and there's some awkward ones. Um, and so I'm going to ask you to search the internet, find a, a tombstone with something you think is odd or funny. And then I'm going to ask you to take a picture of that or just type out, you know, what it is and uh, submit that also uh, in your uh, assignment. And then I want you to wonder, what would you like on your tombstone? If you could write something interesting, it's the last word. It's your last chance. It's a, And it's epi, remember, uh, above. And so this is sits, sits above you, and it's your chance to say something to the world. So I wonder, what would you like to be on your tombstone? So uh, those are the uh, kind of walking through the assignment. And you'll have till Friday night at midnight uh, to submit that. So you've watched this uh, video, and then you're going to look up the words, write the definitions. You're going to write an original sentence. Uh, then you are going to um, uh, write out what you would like to see uh, on your tombstone. And uh, then we'll turn it all in, and then we'll uh, shout at you again uh, next week. So uh, anyway, again, I hope you are uh, doing okay at home. And uh, just take good care of yourself. Wash your hands, for goodness sake. And uh, now you know all that epidemics and pandemics and transmission and vaccinations. So uh, this is Dr. Shell, sauntering home.